What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a new showdown card and it is going to be Marcus Alonso to review today. Now you look at the stats on this card and you'll think to yourself, right, this guy in probably a left wing back position or even a CDM or sentiment position would be absolutely incredible. But then you look at the high low work rates they have gave him. They gave him a high low work rate. Why? Why EA? Why did you have to do it to us? Because you're pretty much telling us to play this guy in a left mid position with three star skill moves and a three star weak foot. And we clearly, clearly don't want to do that. So yeah, high low work rates on this card is very weird, but we are going to see how it goes. I've still put a defensive chem style on him because I do feel like an anger chem style is simply going to be perfect because of that strength boost. Going from 81 strength to 91 strength is going to make a huge, huge difference. Now, I'm going to try to play this guy in obviously three different positions. I'm going to play him in a center back position, the left wing back position and the CDM position. For me, going forward with three star skill moves and three star weak foot in May is simply not going to be good enough. Now, the real question is, is he going to be able to play there with those high low work rates? That is something we are going to have to find out. So he has got 97 acceleration with a 92 sprint speed. So he's clearly a fast player. Now his shooting ability, he has got 87 attacking positioning, 80 finishing, 95 shot power, 87 long shots, 86 volleys with the 73 penalties as well. Does he have any shooting traits? He does not, which is kind of expected. Moving on to the passing ability though, he has got 74 vision, 91 crossing, 92 freak accuracy, 92 short passing, 80 long passing with a 93 curve as well. It does look like Marcus Alonso is going to be one of those passes that you have to keep it a bit more simple with. You can't be going for these overtop through balls down the line with. Now the dribbling ability, not bad. Not bad at all. For a 6 foot 2 player to have 80 for agility, 80 balance, 91 reactions, 92 ball control 87 dribbling with the 84 composure is actually pretty decent but moving over to defensive stats now look at these defensive stats he's got 86 interceptions 96 heading accuracy 85 defensive awareness 98 standing tackling with the 95 slide tackling as well i'm expecting marcus alonso to put in one hell of a tackle and if we are taking a look at the physicals this man has got 87 jumping with 97 stamina 91 strength with the 80 for aggression. I'm telling you boys, this guy right here, if you're thinking you're playing him in a center back position, it would literally probably be perfect. But like the high low work rates might ruin it. And I don't know why. I don't know why they gave him high low, but it's something that we are going to have to deal with. Either way, boys, when it comes down to the links, Spanish from Chelsea. So links with this guy is very good for me. I've gone for your boy Zinchenko and your boy Endon Bele to get him on that full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to which positions, as I said, center back position, left wing back position and CDM position in a 4-2-3-1 and in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. Let's see what we can do off the corner. It's the first three minutes that we actually got it. So maybe we can get a very early goal. He's actually won the header, but the accuracy simply is not going to be it. But at least he won the header, I guess. Rodri, give it across to Alonso. Give it to Bale here. He's going to make... Is he going to make that run? He is going to make that run from that CDM position as well. And look at him. He's not even going back into his position. There you go. He eventually gets there, but he's kind of sitting there on the edge of the box. Nice turn. Hold up a second. No, we could have actually got a goal with him there. But you can clearly see what's going to happen with Marcos Alonso in that CDM position. He's going to be super aggressive and he's going to want to go inside that box. But let's see if we can actually score a header with him. Hold up a second. Near post. I'll try to green time it. Maybe that it does it a little bit better. Didn't really time it, but hey, at least he got it on target. Alonso pushing forward a little bit. That's a nice angle. I am going to go for the long shot. Not a bad shot at all, but not a shot that's probably going to go in against the Stegen. Mbappe, Alonso giving me that passing option, which is very nice from him. Good dribbling. I must admit, dribbling on the ball. Look at that. Look at it. R1 dribbling. Nice and close to his feet. Little ball roll. He doesn't feel bad. He really, really doesn't feel bad. For a six foot two player, he feels nice. Bale, give it to the middle there. Rodri. Give it to Alonso. Shield off the play. Really nice strength. Look at that. Can I get it through the middle? I can't. If he had like four star skill moves there, I could do like the standing scoop turn into the space. And I'm going to be honest, we could have actually had a goal. But obviously him only having three star skill moves, we can't do that kind of stuff. Push that forward. There you go. Good touch. Keep it going. Flick around the corner. Maybe an RBA across goal. The RBA was absolutely dreadful. And it was on that three-star weak foot. I'm still expecting like even a three-star weak foot to make that pass look a little bit better. Especially the fact that I RBA'd it. But apparently it was just a poor pass. 
Give it to Bale here. Well played. Look at Alonso. Look how high up he's actually going just to give me a passing option. Like, he is as high as the cam down. Telling you boys right now, you have to force a stay back while attacking instruction on this guy. Because if you don't, he's going to be making some crazy, crazy runs from that CDM position. I still can't believe they gave him high-low work rates. Mbappe. Alonso makes that run there. Good touch. Good use of pace. Ball roll. I'm going to go for the finesse shot across goal. It was hit with a lot of power, but clearly the accuracy was not there. He's going to pass down. He is. I'm going to see if I can press him. I couldn't get out to him fast enough, and we are going to lose that interception. Kind of disappointing because I was expecting Alonso to really, really get out there, but he clearly didn't. Give it to Alonso. Give it for the gap. Give it back to him. Oh, one dribble. Go all the way down. Hold up a second. Hold up. No, I thought that was going to be a goal-scoring opportunity. And is he going to be offside? It is going to be offside. Come on. That could have been a really nice goal as well. Win it. Well played. Oh, we actually put Rooney onto the ground as well. Keep it going. Should we go for a quick one too? Same, maybe we can get him in behind. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's a good touch as well. No, come on. EA. You're literally robbing us now. There is no way we are not scoring a goal with Marcus Alonso. That play as well was spot on. It's just the finish clearly wasn't there. He's going to pass down. He's probably going to try to go back up. I'm going to get out to him. We don't get out to him fast enough, but we do kind of recover and put in a solid tackle. But we are eventually, eventually going to come out with a ball. I have moved him, by the way, into that centre-back position. And we are going to see how he's going to play there because... Right now, in that CDM position, he wasn't bad. Obviously, he was very aggressive, but he wasn't bad at all. Now, I want to see how he kind of deals with those high-low work crates in that centre-back position. Is he going to be a player that is always out of position, or is it actually not going to be too bad? Alonso, go out to him, maybe. Don't allow that turn. He does put in a very solid tackle, and he is going to get fouled as well. Is he going to track that Rooney run? He does track it, to be fair to him. I'm just allowing him to track it. And he's consistently tracking it. Okay. I see you, Alonso. I see you. Don't allow him to turn here. What is this guy doing, Avardi? Slide tackle? Well played. We actually came out with a ball as well. There's a big gap through that middle. Don't allow the pass to go back up. There you go. Well played. He does really well to get out to him. Little ball roll there. Is anyone going to make a run? No, not really. Okay. I'm just going to pass the ball all the way up. Through that middle. Don't allow it. Keep it going. He is going to lose Saar and we are going to concede. This is the thing with Marcus Alonso, right? I am noticing he is not the quickest of players. So players like Saar that are, you know, extremely quick are going to get in behind him and are obviously going to go ahead and score. Through that big gap. Oh, we couldn't get the interception, but we are going to go ahead and get the tackle. Well played. Oh, I thought we was going to lose the ball for a second. By the way, boys, the high-low work rate in that centre-back position, I'm going to be honest, I don't notice a difference. Yeah, their stay back while attacking instruction is obviously in that centre back position, but it's like I'm not seeing I'm not seeing him go forward at all. I'm not seeing him like out of position at all. I am seeing him stick in that centre back position, and he's doing like great defensive awareness, aka just tracking runs and all of that. For the middle, get that tackle. Well played, nice tackle. R1 drew a Rodri, and we are away. Alonso is going to pass up, bro. Well played. Nice interception. We are playing him, by the way, into that left wing back position now. So you are, we are going to see him obviously go forward. But let's see. Right there. Go. Use that pace. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Can you get around a corner? You are going to be able to get around a corner. I'm going to go for the ball roll. The touch wasn't the greatest. Oh, I thought we was going to try to get a goal at the last second, but obviously it didn't really work out. But he does well to actually get into the position there, track that run and cut that passing lane. Really nice. That was right at the end as well. I just saw it at the last second. Going to pass all the way up. I do see Alonso on that overlap. Nice touch. Good use of pace. Double flick maybe. There you go. Little cut back. Act like I'm going to go for that cut back and then we are going to get tackled. The thing is, right... Like, him going forward, okay, it's nice with his pace and all, and his dribbling is obviously not, you know, not bad at all. It's just, the skill moves with this guy, being three-star, it's not like you can beat players 1v1. And even if you get inside the box with this guy, you're pretty much, like, forced to shoot on only one foot, you know? Because if you shoot on that right foot at all, with a three-star weak foot, it's not really going to end well. I see him all the way on the other side, just sitting up there. Let's give him the ball. Chest touch, well played. Decent shielding. Good turn as well. Ball roll into the inside. Nice little touch. We're going to go down and Varane is going to come in with an AI block. Things you hate to see because we could have actually gave Alonso there an assist. Pass it up. 
Go for that bridge. Use that pace to get around. He's not going to have enough pace to get around. And that's going to be a problem about playing this guy in a left wing back position. For me, the left wing back position and the right wing back position, the player has to have like a lot. And I mean a lot of pace there to get around these extremely fast fullbacks. With Marcus Alonso, he, you know, he hasn't got an extreme amount of pace. So he's not going to beat Lars Bender. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Marcus Alonso. We did not get a goal and we did not get an assist. We tried so hard to get a goal with this guy, but it simply was not happening. Multiple long shots we took didn't go on target. There was even a chance at the near post on a stronger foot that ended up hitting the post. It was a good angle and all, but him having 80 finishing is understandable. If it was like 85 finishing and he did that, that's when it becomes questionable. But 80 finishing is never going to be really consistent inside that box. Now this card is going for 140k do i believe he's worth the 140k keep in mind he can get a plus two upgrade still no chance absolutely no chance boys this card is nowhere near worth 140k players like saw team of the season saw are going for 90k and that card is 100 worth it 140k for marcus alonso no chance absolutely no chance so this one right here boys miss out on you won't regret it trust me on that but yeah let's get straight into the ratings pace wise boys i'm gonna tell you guys right now no way no way it's 98 acceleration and no way it is 92 sprint speed his transition speed wasn't bad at all that's something i would say but him trying to catch up to people in a center back position just simply wasn't it he was getting outpaced at like over there for pretty much fun so for pace i am going to give this guy i would say like an 8.6 out of 10 simply not good enough moving on to the shooting with though. even though we didn't score a goal you can clearly see that it wasn't that bad of a shot so for shooting i am going to give him i'll probably say like an 8.2 slash an 8.3 out of 10 passing ability now, the passing ability wasn't exactly amazing, let's say. Like, the long passing with this guy just wasn't great at all. Like, I tried to go for an overtop through ball, and it kind of went out of play time to time. But there was another occasion where it went straight towards the defender. So, long passing with him, please try to avoid it. But short passing, on the other hand, was very nice. So, for passing, I am still going to give him a decent rating. But I'm going to give him, I would say, like an 8.3. An 8.3 slash an 8.4 out of 10, just because of how good that short passing really was. Dribbling ability. As I said, he didn't feel bad did not feel bad at at all for a six foot two player so for dribbling i am gonna give him i'll probably say i'll probably say like an 8.3 an 8.3 slash an 8.4 out of 10 i don't believe he deserves any higher than that because there was nothing like crazy crazy about him but you did see his r1 dribbling time to time was pretty nice defending I feel like defending was probably the best thing about him because this guy can put in a solid, solid tackle and his slide tackling was perfect. His defensive awareness was also very good and his interceptions with that six foot two reach was very good as well. For defending, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, I'll probably say like a nine out of 10. A 9 out of 10, I feel like he's spot on just because I feel like he obviously does slack in like the transition speed time to time and obviously the pace as well. I do try to include everything into that defending because you have to keep in mind that he might be in the right position, but he might get outpaced at like a very odd occasion. And obviously that does come down to defending. So yeah, I don't want to give him too high, but I feel like that is a reasonable rating. Physicals. I liked his physicals a lot. He was a very, very aggressive player and he was a player that was putting a lot of players off the ball. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, I'll probably say like a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, boys, I am going to give him, I'll probably say... I'll probably say like an 8.5. An 8.5 out of 10 on the dot, boys. But yeah, simply as simple as that. Not worth 140k. I don't know what EA was thinking when they gave this guy a high, low work rate. The best position for him, by the way, is that CDM position because he gives you that pass, he gives you that attacking presence while also giving you that defensive presence as well. But just keep in mind the high low work rates will make him get out of position time to time. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.